Hi guys, well as with everything I seem to do this weekend, the unboxing video went pear-shaped. So we've uh, we've skipped that and we've gone on to the unboxed <laughs> look. Um, basically this came from eBay. Um, it was shipped from the UK so there was no import duty uh, to pay. So turn that heater off. And uh, it was uh, 250-ish, something like that. I'd have to look it up on... Uh, on eBay, um, I've been using a very, oh, a very old. It's 1960s Tektronix uh, for what is it? Four, five, three, with the tiniest little display uh, for years and years. And I thought it was time to probably update the uh, the workshop equipment. Um, so yeah, well boxed. Uh, comes with USB lead mains lead, two switchable times one and times ten probes. Not quite sure how good they are, but uh, we've uh, you know they're Rigol branded, so you know, hopefully they're okay. A uh, couple of spring clips, some uh, little coloured pieces to clip on, and uh, some new springs. So yeah, all there. You have a small user guide on how to uh, compensate the probes, and that's uh, in English and Chinese. We have a Rigol CD. Not sure what's on that yet, but we're going to have a look at that later. We have a quality certificate, which looks like it's some sort of warranty. Paperwork that you should fill in and send off to China, but so uh, you can also register online. Although I'm not sure what, uh, what the point of that would be. And we have what should be the user guide, uh, but as you'd expect, it's uh, it's all in Chinese. But having looked at it, it uh, it just seems to be how to plug the mains cable in and. Uh, connect the probes so not much use there hopefully there's more information on the CD but we'll have a look at that later on um, when I unboxed the unit I was uh, quite pleased with the overall feel the weight it feels quite weighty obviously it's uh, got metal shielding inside over everything so there's a bit of weight there it feels very nice quality actually I was expecting this to be uh, to feel quite cheap and, uh, and nasty <laughs> Having just had a little play with it uh, for a few minutes, I thought we'd uh, now power this up on camera so you can see what it does and what you're going to get for your money. There is uh, a fan on this right hand side and you know it's reasonably noisy but it's, it's not really an issue in the workshop environment. I don't know whether you're going to be able to hear that or not. Um, underneath you have two big rubber feet at the back and there are two fold out feet here that will just allow it to tilt up a bit which we're going to use now just puts it at a very nice position for viewing the screen the screen is um, yeah nice and bright uh, quite sharp not sure what the resolution is it's not massive it's uh, you know it's not a very high resolution screen this seems incredibly easy to use um, it's all very well laid out a lot of these buttons uh, have a push in click to select uh, feature in fact it's on all of the um, all of the dials have click positions the menu can instantly be turned off and on at the top and when you press any of these menu buttons uh, different items will pop up on screen so the measure and then the things on screen the options on screen correspond to the buttons on the side here um, and you can immediately get rid of that just by pressing the the menu on off button so if we wanted to look at the measure functions now you can turn every option on immediately or off so they would be all of the options available uh, you can select which ones you want or you can just turn the lot on and off 
again as soon as you've pressed uh, the button with multiple choices uh, you can use this you can see I don't know whether you can see that but it's actually lit now uh, it's just timed out but if we press time again you can select from these that dial is lit and you can just scroll through whichever ones or whichever option you want uh, if you don't want that anymore you can just press uh, the menu button once and it will go back to the previous menu and if you press it again it's uh, it's gone if you press the on the menu on off button on its own uh, it will take you I think generally to the, to the last used menu button so if we come off of there and press it again it's back on the measure options if we go to acquire and press it and back on again it's bringing back the last used uh, menu so this seems really well thought out it's uh, you know compared to my old tektronics this is uh, just a whole different uh, ball game <laughs> again get rid of it that way uh, real-time sampling if there's only one or two choices you seem to, to be able to toggle it through multiple presses of the button here if there's only a couple of choices if it's on or off then you just toggle it through here and then uh, you can get rid of it either up here or from there whichever whichever you want storage same thing uh, waveform again once there's multiple choices this lights up and you can select if you don't want to make any changes I think you can just press the on off button again and that hasn't actually changed anything so yeah very nice two channels external trigger uh, USB host and USB device I'm just going to connect one of these probes I did compensate one of these earlier but I don't know which one uh, I'm using now going to connect it up to the external signal. And one of the great things about these modern oscilloscopes is you can just press auto. You'll hear a couple of relays clicking and uh, yeah that's not the calibrated probe I don't think so let's just change that. Yeah, so whatever signal you're looking for this will find it if you press the auto button and uh, you can press run start and stop and it will just freeze that and back to normal again um, yeah I mean you've got all of the features and hundreds more that you could uh, possibly hope for I think uh, horizontal vertical and trigger all have uh, menus that you can bring up in that case that's just turned off that channel um, the menu here for horizontal time base delay on off uh, time base again multiple choices you can select through here uh, and you can I, well yeah maybe I'm wrong maybe you can use this if you want and maybe multiple presses here will also do the job I'll check that in a second actually let's just turn that off if we go to measure and can we press this to scroll through no in this particular case we're so it's adding at the bottom here whichever one we've highlighted here so multiple choice here so we've got VMAX 1, measurement already selected, so we'd have to scroll down and, uh, and add VMIN 1 to that. So there's slightly different ways of, uh, let's clear that, slightly different ways of using these menus, but it'll all become obvious as you use it, I'm sure. And, and there's an example of using this display all on or off. So every available measurement is now there. And if you don't want to get rid of that, uh, you can just press off and in there again. Uh, what have we got? Cursor, manual, track and auto. Let's 
just like that. I don't think going to do anything in this case. Yeah, so I think you get the idea. Just going to scroll through that, turn it off, and off. There we go. And again. So yeah, I, I'm not an expert at all on using oscilloscopes. This is going to be quite a good learning curve for me, and something I should have done years and years ago. Really, um, this scope uh, a few years ago was hackable, and you could change the firmware and. Uh, change the serial model number and turn it into a, um, a one sorry 100 megahertz version the 100 megahertz and the 50 megahertz were exactly the same it was just different uh, different firmware in them I suspect they've probably uh, stopped that from happening now so this is probably stuck at 50 uh, megahertz uh, but yeah, I've got to say for the price it is uh, quite impressive all of the buttons feel very nice, that's the trigger level I'm just fiddling with there, the uh, soft touch ones again all very nice, no problems with that, it's at a very nice angle, um, you can, uh, utility I think it is, uh, you have got, if you've got more than one screen for here or say it's one of three screens and you can press that one to go down two or three uh, preferences yeah this has got four different skins at the moment I've got it on modern but you can select traditional succinct classical which I don't like much I think I'll stick with the modern colors uh, I thought that was a nice touch to be able to uh, so customize the display slightly uh, yeah, don't know what this is for, so we'll just get out of that. Hopefully there's an English manual on the CD so I can have a good uh, read. But yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be quite useful. It would be good to get up on the uh, uh, capabilities of modern scopes. Uh, so the display is very nice. I've got no issues with that at all. Great that it was shipped from the UK very quickly. No, uh, no import duties and any of that nonsense. Um, don't know about the warranty, I suspect it would have to be returned to wherever the eBay seller is, hopefully rather than sending it back to uh, China. But again, at that price, you know, a year or two's warranty is, uh, is going to be fine. So, yeah, just thought that would be a useful. Quick look at uh, DS1052E from uh, Rigol. If you want to see full-blown, uh, you know, review of it with... Uh, tear down and everything just pop over to Dave uh, Jones's EEV blog he's uh, tested these fully stripped them to pieces and uh, had a good uh, good old look at it I'm certainly not going to get involved in uh, doing any of that that's uh, for the experts and not for me to worry about uh, but yeah as my first uh, digital oscilloscope I'm uh, I'm really impressed I'm uh, pleased I bought the Rigol instead of some of the others that looked uh, looked like they might be better spec but they may not have been uh, better built or as good a quality as uh, as this seems to be so yeah I'll uh, carry on working with this over the next few months and uh, put it to use and uh, see how it goes catch you later